it's the most exciting time that any of us could be alive for if we walk with love there's a good chance that we're going to all see the beginnings of the kingdom age arising around us so praise be unto our lord the lord god from everlasting to everlasting he is ours he is our Lord of love. He is love. And if you are a loving person with your love moving as a child, if you're born again, he's living within you. And therein is the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor for everything in heaven and earth is yours if you keep your light of love alive. For we inherit everlasting life and everlasting love. For God is love and Christ is love. 1 John 4, 7. And those who love are born again of him and know him because he is love. For love of the ages so loved the world. He gave his only begotten love. So whosoever would love should never uh, perish but have everlasting love and everlasting life. Praise the Lord. And let him always be exalted as head over all. For he is Christ the Lord, Isi Yeshua, Jesus, the risen good shepherd over all the flocks of man. Because Islam and Christianity have been inherited, all mankind, by Israel, Isaiah 62, 2, foretold they would become Chrislam, and they have inherited all mankind, as Isaiah 54, 3, clearly foretold. So know that wealth and honor has come from our beloved and he is the blessed and the adored, for only he is the ruler of all things, of born of charity, and the ocean, the great ocean of his adoration, moving, gushing forward, the floodgates uh, in heaven are pouring out uh, seas of his blessedness for all willing to go out into the deep, for he is the priceless pearl of great reward, our treasure of excellence and excellence of treasure and in his nail scarred hands are the strength and power to exalt and to give strength unto absolutely all people so now let us always magnify our lord god as we give him thanks and praise his most glorious name so it's finally the time when our lord can come forth in a new newness of understanding so it's time that we need to understand the the things that uh the things that we have misunderstood so praise the lord and know that it's time that we all look to heaven and call unto him because he's calling each of our names as if we were the only one so it's time to answer and as we answer his call that roaring lion of zion he would put it in our hearts that we would all of one accord and of one voice of love ask him to give him unto ourselves so that we may also give ourselves unto him and love overflowing shall it be and the word of the lord and his desires uh, of uh, his holy thought uh, concerning his messiah will be placed in the hearts of all people expecting emmanuel's return and for know that in the will of the Lord of love is our life, and in his purpose is our eternal life, and in our perfection it is incorruptible if we walk in the Spirit with our love on, never to be under condemnation. So be enriched in God the Father and receive the purpose of the Most High. Be strong and redeemed by his grace. For the Lord God, he is now announcing kingdom age peace unto all people who could receive it and uh, for all of his holy ones so that none of those hearing this word will ever have to fall into great wars that would yet to come if man will not embrace his word anew and know that all for all those who have known him uh, they may not have to perish for it is written that uh, no weapon formed against us will prosper if we will walk in love we will not be ashamed and know that an everlasting crown is truth blessed are they who set it on sets that on their head letting the dove of love nest there uh, because uh, what is coming is like a precious stone f for the wars uh, were on account of the crown 
all of creation of man has been fighting over love uh, in war uh, for 2,000 years. And it's the most insane thing to be fighting over love. But righteousness has taken account and has given unto us the only answer, the only solution, which is love alone. And it is the answer to all questions. So put on the crown of the true covenant of Jeremiah 31 for all people of love. Uh, for it has always reigned on the just and the unjust, and all those who have conquered will be inscribed in his book of love if we will obey his word of love and let it flow in us as a little child. And know that for all people of truth, who shines like a mirror reflecting his benevolence and his love, uh, unto them they shall receive a great reward of victory which shall be for them and victory will see them before her and they will will all of us that we will be saved through our love moving in motion so hallelujah for the lord is promising everyone who's keeping their love alive that he shall be their god and they shall be his people and he's stressing that he will evermore forgive all of our sins and iniquity and never remember them Praise God. These are the days of Jeremiah 31, 1, and it's time to move it along. Raise your hands to heaven, people. More than ever, we need to extol the, the blessings that the Lord has given unto us. And all I could tell you is, as the Lord's in time, Daniel, of Daniel 12, 13, who has embraced his destiny as one who would be uh, feeding the master's household meat while the master is away. This is this channel and my other channel, 4,500 videos just started the channel actually. Um, it's nothing but meat, 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 and more meat. So upon this mountain shall all shame and guilt of all mankind be removed as people beat their sword into the sickle as it is written in the everlasting gospel, Revelation 14. And so, no, these are the days when the Lord's most perfect will can finally be expressed for the rising brotherhood of man, so that it will be his most passionate dove of love will make new understandings of uh, that there's never been any love that is uh, true love that is conditional. Love has never been conditional. That is why the Lord's mercy shall be forever. For he, if he threw one of us into hell, God would be a liar. For he says, I will forgive your iniquity. I will never remember it. For that reason, Satan even had to be removed for 1,000 years in accordance with Daniel 12. One, because day and night, Satan was like uh, accusing the brethren, going before the Lord, telling him all about our sin, reminding him of his sin, uh, of our sin. And so it's like uh, Satan would have caused God to be a liar. So praise God. God, that it's time for the kingdom age understandings. The veil has been ripped. No longer will we have to look through a glass darkly and know that the dove of love shall be preparing the Lord's way by covering the whole world with the greatest, most passionate fires of love's greatest inferno, like, like flames and wildfires, like lighter fluid on some logs, and like lava's raging fires that even covers absolutely everything below uh, exploding volcanoes. So know that the destiny of love, beloved, the, and the future of peace and the eternal fate of the new kingdom age hopes comes forth only by he that is our most supreme supremacy, the pride of Zion, and the most brilliant living glory evermore of all. For he alone is the imagination of lovelessness, of loveliness, and the uh, eternal giver of forgiveness, an unrelenting uh, manifestation of both. So praise him evermore, for he is the living inspiration of the highest honor of his own love radiating for one and all of us because he is the bestower of the same and the embracer of absolutely all love. So let us shine and let God be true in all men liars because in the final analysis you have inherited eternal life and uh, there's nothing you have to do or believe except not to commit blasphemy of the Holy Spirit as Christ said. So. Love from love, hope from hope, peace.
see that it's real.